V. Okay, so I'm about to beat his ass. Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. Oh boy. So hang on. Got got gotta beat somebody's ass real quick. Hey, son now. Oh shit. What the What the hell? Ah. So he hit me with the one shit? Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Let me look up. She's look at me go. You see that? So let's do killing in the name. No, that's not the Judy one. What is the Judy one? Uh, the Judy one is the Judy. Yeah, Judy. Talk about revolution. Talk about a revolution where you know. So Judy's apartment is. Oh, look, sweet. I got fast travel there. That's why they had me doing what oh, I saw. But again, I still think that's horseshit magic mushroom. I still honestly think that's 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 my personal opinion. I still think that's horseshit. What? Hello? Are you good, my guy? That's nice of you. I don't know what's happening here. My man's going through it, but. You know, I, I do get thrown off by people being in like random, like when you enter a building, like just random ass people being there because she's upstairs. This is her apartment. Entering Judy's apartment. Hey V, come on in. Pizza's getting cold. What's up my guy? Pizza? We got pizza here? We're in the kitchen. Okay, Tom. We got pizza here. Wait, can I get some pizza, bro? You made it. Good. Grab a seat. Hey. This is Roxanne. Hey, Roxanne. She's worked at clouds longer than any. Look of at us. them big ass. Wait, I want Hello. the pizza, bro. I want the pizza. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here. Okay? <laughs> I, love, I love Johnny. How are you? Okay, I guess, but you know, sad as hell. Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah, blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. I feel like such a gunk now. Hello? You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. Michael. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Suddenly comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. I got sick, maybe. Or hit the lottery jackpot. Bought himself a ticket to the moon. Hmm, could be anything. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. Okay. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind mm. stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Oh. Fine. I'll sit by the window. I mean... The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. 
Okay, do I do the 14? Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. Okay. And that's it. I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You could murder someone and not remember a thing. Hmm. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split second processes that happen logistics, mm -hmm. decision making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. We don't. How'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. Mm -hmm. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Do I have to put Tom down? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Okay. I, I may have to put his ass down. Okay. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking What's up, Shooter Q? Quiz, Long time to see, homie. I don't know. We just saw him. I An saw argument can be made, but I, I no. To How's it going, man? How the hell you been? Long time to see, man. Harm among us. Welcome, 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 man. Tommy handles him. V. Okay, so I'm about to beat his ass. Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. Oh boy. So hang on. Got 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 to beat somebody's ass real quick. It's on now. Oh shit. What the, what the hell? Ah. So he hit me with the one shit? Everything chill? You okay? Let me look up. <laughs> She's look numb. Me you see that? Woo. My nice dude hit the one matrix shit. White boy, what's up, Uncle Jay? Sell that. Yeah, let me look it up here. She's known. In USA. I think, wasn't she in Gears? I feel like she was in Gears. I think it's one game I think she may have done, but. After this. Chips are getting micro new. Bro, I threw like two punches and got like legit. Like he was like. V. If you got something to say, just say it. Oh god, I talked to who? Me? This is my impressed. Okay. Face. That's a fun fact. That's a fun fact. V. Nice work. Okay. So that, so that, so that already skip, skip, skip. <laughs> Happy now. I'm really happy, but that was proof enough. I will Let's say the it, voice then. actor for Loba, of three muscle heads uh, and she techie. plays someone in. I would like to Guards say the the Aldecados tribe will uh, that Pan Am's associated with. I I, I, I noticed it instantly, but I think she voices like an older older one, which is always like it was like Loba. Bosses, we'll give like, I was just so thrown by it. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again, and having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. Yeah, let me get a half baked insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Yeah, we're gonna Taking do incredible out the sausage. Won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato, who's that? So, Cloud's real boss. I own Battle really Los Angeles. I've been so much ignoring the fact I've been wanting to Claws watch it, him. but I just he is one of them. It's one of we one of my weird him, guilty pleasure movies because it's straight to the point a better chance by and like you know what it is and know what you're getting here. But shout out to both Shooter Q and Q, uh, and excuse me, and Incredible yeah, Sausage here. Definitely give those two a follow here uh, again. Shooter Q is one of the few streamers I started following here early on, and Incredible Sausage is obviously another um, streamer that I met in Rude Raccoon stream here again. 
Got to gotta show love and props to both of these guys here, gentlemen here. I appreciate y'all stopping by and hanging out. It, it is. <laughs> I mean, it could be a play on words. You got to ask the man himself here, wherever he's lurking at here. You got to ask the man himself. This Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's but a yeah. penthouse. Almost never See, my my fondest memories of Shooter Q is constantly always heckling exactly. Aqua, which is always a good time because heckling Aqua is Wouldn't an art in and of itself in here. Aqua Fina like here, again, who is someone that I know, and Scott same with Shooter Q. We both know him in IRL. In Why even try breaking into a penthouse? So. He's probably crawling with guards. So. Hiromi don't go anywhere without security. Nice, so nice. One, but also, different. I will say here, fun Two. fact, Shooter Q... This man's voice is made for radio, like, like made for radio. Made, if you just listen to the sweet nothings this man whispers in stream here, he is he has a voice for radio. <laughs> it's called being a friend, friendship. That's what friends do, right? We the homies call each other when they want to talk. I mean, he maybe he misses you. Listen, life's short, this man. You can't have you can't hold bitter grudges or you know, it's it's too short, man. There's We're getting old. I'm getting old, so like so for me, I'm, I'm not with the fuck shit no more. Like I, I, I just want to, you know, have a peaceful relationship with people. We're so strange with people. It. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm here for a good time. Before you know, I'm with it all the way. V, don't tell me you're seriously considering. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. <laughs> the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. But you did also serve. Oh, I know. I know. I, re I recall remembering you serving here as well too. So only if you don't talk to me, I feel a migraine coming on. Better up and then calling me so his brother and I can. <laughs> I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude. Stuff I'm asking you to Am do, I tweaking right now? Well, What's going on here? Usually comes with a price tag, I know. I think the V chip's tweaking you again. You wanna help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Okay, you know what? Sure. Alright. Thanks. Nice of you to think of that. Uh, don't mention it. I'm tweaking here, hang on. Uh, uh, v, everything okay? Yeah, I'm tweaking, bro. V, you don't look so hot. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. I'm fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? No, I do not. No, I did not. No, I did not. Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna collect. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, this game, short, I will say, I this guess. game, not to interrupt the cutscene here. Uh, WrestleMania has a steel version of. Oh, Walmart. Oh, nice. Nice. Don't tell me that because then I feel obligated to buy that for my daughter. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Which again, we need to own it on Blu ray. But don't tell me that. I'm going to do so after this ad. I'm going to give you. Of course, Chris. Yeah, let's let's wait for Shooter Q to get out this ad here. He's stuck in Adpocalypse here. So, and any Silverhand's mind on it, an engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. I'm tweaking balls right now. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? Negative. One can hope. All right, welcome back. It's welcome late. back. Welcome You're back, Q. You can crash on my couch if you want. Yeah, there's there's some things that I didn't realize. Sounds great. That thanks. I didn't realize the creator of the actual cyberpunk universe. Don't worry about it. Make yourself is a, as a person of color, which again, which is pretty cool. I mean, I've done a little bit of like deep diving or try to do some deep diving on Wiki just because I, I started oh, getting so immersed good. in this game over the last couple of years. And that I know, and I know it's based off a campaign that he created back in the '80s or something. Am I am I correct in that? I mean, you know, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong here. You know, you're more. So. 
he creates a cyberpunk genre with a lot of his writings culminating within the neuromancer before which was like his big break so that's the book so that's that's a book okay let me write this down because i wouldn't mind writing it in morning sleepyhead we mean morning sleepyhead had to run didn't want to wake you left you some breakfast eat up oh she made me breakfast bro where's the breakfast bro is this the breakfast bro uh, so let's go to inventory. I should have ate the sandwich. Uh, inventory. Uh, backpack. Consumables. Where's that sandwich she gave me? That rubber sandwich. Ham and cheese. I did eat the breakfast. Okay. Drink the coffee. With Neuromancer, there's a character that lives in the MC's head, talking to him, leading him sometimes. And that's the analogy inspiration to Silverhand in this gameplay. Like, oh, that's actually pretty nice, so keep that in mind. Thank you for that. I do appreciate that crash course here. I do appreciate that. This is why I love, this is why I appreciate you. Just the vast knowledge you have about everything, everything. Like you are, you are very well versed, and that's one thing that I appreciate about you. Which is why, again, you guys should follow him because this man is like a walking encyclopedia. Literally, like a walking encyclopedia. Gibson wrote Johnny Mnemonic in '81, which was adapted to a movie in '95, starring Keanu. Talking about revolution, so we think we gotta we we gotta wait before her side quest opens up again. So we're gonna meet Detective Ward. Or violence. Meet with a mysterious client in Kabuki. We can track that down. Is there a fast travel point there? That's the thing. Oh, I almost ran right into the street. So there's a fast travel point, sweet. Okay, so. That's one thing that I've been, I will say that I've been challenging myself here. I'm not sure I actually play. What's up, Tyler? Thank you, Tyler. What's up? What's up? Also, another shout out here. Uh, one of the homies from Bina's community, Ben Bina Fofina's community here. I appreciate the follow, homie. I did want to give you kudos here. I didn't know if you were lurking or around here, but I appreciate you. And again, Pretty dope guy playing Persona 3 right now, which I have no idea what the Persona is about. But. And then that is the Matrix. The Matrix, any correlation to um, the universe that uh, Gibson wrote? Because there was this random clip around. Um, so of us, I'm assuming it was a black author, black lady, black lady. She was doing an interview here and she mentioned that the Matrix was supposed to be like a direct sequel to the Terminator. It's been something like I constantly always see on Twitter and like TikTok because the algorithm likes to push that. Actually, I nice shout out for Shooter Q never processed through. There we go. But what if I want to call you Matsu? Because I want you to be. My Stu, so Matsu. And what does the rest of your name mean in the first place? Because if I'm not. Y'all hear that when he whistles? Have y'all heard this whistling game? I'm pretty sure. I heard this the last playthrough. I'm pretty sure the dude is whistling Seven Nation Army. <laughs> Someone confirm that. It's all my PC spec. What do you think, Fate? I think you're running the best that you can. Way better than I am. Absolutely. Corvo's midlife crisis. <laughs> Again, the clips are ran are random and generated here, so don't blame me. Blame your community who blame who clips your your stuff. So make sure that you don't got anything incriminating in the clip logs. I get Mo Chocolate Nine K all the time. Like I, I don't think I've gotten a clip of him just yet where it showcases him and his full energy. It always seems to be it's him. It's him. In the very compromising, <laughs> compromising way, I've been leaving everything. I've recently gone through my, my, I go through my clips like maybe once every like six weeks just to see 
um, what's incriminating there. Because again, like I went through a phase when, when I was going through separation, when I was wild in the hell out on Twitch. So, you know, I don't, I respectfully, of course, I want to make sure that it is a little bit toned down. Cause like now I will, I, I kid you not like both my 13 year old and my nine year old, because like my nine year, like my 13 year old is like right behind me here. Um, you know, he's dabbling and wanting to dabble into content creation. And then same with my nine year old as well too. Like you see, she's been, when I started doing some of the wrestling, uh, stream, she's been, you know, involved in watching and seeing what the outcome is here. So they're doing well. They're doing well. Uh, the oldest, uh, they moved out. Uh, they're living in the city. Um, and then I have a 16 year old. I think they're, they're in their junior year in high school. Um, 13 year old stepson is doing well. Awesome. Doing well and awesome doing content creation. And then I don't know if you knew I had a little one, but I, I mean, my little one was little at the time. Uh, she's now nine. And then I had a another little one during COVID. Uh, she's now, I think the same age that my nine year old was, <laughs> when i started doing when i started dabbling into stream here so um i i will say we like my wife and i managed to make it It literally was like copy and paste when it comes to both my biological kids so like my daughter my nine-year-old daughter my three-year-old looks like my nine-year-old daughter when she did at three or four yeah and now guess what? She's into uh her new thing right now is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, which would came unwarranted because that's not something that like I was like, oh hey, like I watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle around her. That came that manifested on its own. Which again, I'm proud. Like I really am proud. It's nice seeing them grow and be into the things that they're into. Same with like my 13 year old son. Like he's into Sonic and and like Nintendo and like my boy is like literally like a walking encyclopedia of knowledge of knowledge when it comes to anything. Yeah, she's been into the rise. So she's no, she start her introductory is the rise of the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I do want to introduce the OG uh, cartoon, but I do also want to watch the OG movies. I do want to see vanilla pants, uh, vanilla ice in the parachute pants singing Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. Like, I'm ready for that. Like, I'm absolutely ready for that. Which is why Uncle Jay came in here and was like, yeah, you know, that that movie is on in Steelbook at Walmart because he knows he, he knows that I'm going to give into it. Look at Buki. <laughs> I've embraced it, okay? Like I've embraced it. Like like I plan I I plan like once I get everything set up and have a night to just chill. Like I plan on playing Moonwalker from our Plex server. Like your personal disco? Your Discord? I think I'm so in there. I think I'm so. I might be. I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll have to check here outside of stream here. Physical media is important. I'm. Yeah, I know because physical media is not going to exist here, and it's going to be all digital, and then they're going to find ways to remove it from us so yeah i i'm a uh, big on owning physical media i mean we have a shop in town that you know sells a lot of like people a lot of people sell their own dvds and stuff i don't know why i'm here but okay i'm gonna go started to think you wouldn't show shouldn't have to be honest why not Normally only work with fixers. Of course, of course. Clients that avoid him tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Okay. Everyone wants their privacy. 
Maybe. I'm gonna just keep my distance. Not as much as me. Fuck me. It's you. Who's you? It's me, Lizzie Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's are you, talk. Are you gonna kill me? Okay, let's, let's just let's just assess the situation here. Just, just let's, okay, let's, let's so assess. What's this about? Hang on, let's let's do a quick pause here because we gotta we gotta add right now. This is important story stuff that I don't want people to miss out on here. Yeah, she's also based on a neuromancer character. Name and appearance. Okay, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. God, I w I wish I would have streamed this more from like Act One because I would I would have loved to like. You know, see you at least like at least and at least witness some of the characters that I've interacted here with throughout the um throughout the story. Now in the actual like story itself is the environment itself like influenced by um like Asian culture, because I feel, you know, a lot of like the metropolitan and night city is influenced by like, you know, like there's, you know, uh, you know, you know, Chinese town. Um, I'll just pull up the map here just so that way I, I want to be very, um, very like politically correct when I say that I don't want to, I don't want to misinterpret anything. Like, you know, there's, I feel like a lot of it is very like influenced by Japanese culture. I don't know if that is like again, like when you when you read Neuromancer, you pick up on that, or is that that something that's more exclusive to like the game itself? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. I forget it much. Mm -hmm. and what kind? Okay. <laughs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. It's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> it is to me. I have something to say. And that? It's a distraction. I need to focus on my art. So... We talking a man, a woman? Okay. Oh so. shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Okay. Okay, so we're the term of societal stuff. <sighs> it's so cliche, okay. it's embarrassing. The crushing rate of high Whispered rises. Phone calls out in the bathroom, in the strange receipts, foods. secret That's meetings okay. in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind. That's. That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. You talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> no. Nope. You're adorable. Imagine this. We're never alone. Not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, from makeup Ricardo, artists. She didn't come from the two factors from his view. But okay. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond. It'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. That I picked up on early, like early no, on. I don't understand. Like not until you've lived it. Millions of eyes trained on you constantly. It can be beautiful. And terrifying. Because that's one thing I will say about this game. Like, there's, it's very, from an environment standpoint, it's multi layered. Um, so, depending on where you go, like, if you are more out in the outlands, it's very, like, you know, it's one layer. That's it. But when you get, when you traverse in the city, I think at most it could be at least like three levels of depth, three layers of depth where it's like a, like a whole underground, like this is the bottom of the barrel. And then you have everything like where the most of the action happens on like, you know, your basically your middle tier. 
um, layer and then depending on on like if you have to interact with with you know with people in the environment here or if you're just progressing through like there could be a third layer it's it's very there's layers to it and you feel it and it's easy to get lost it's easy to get lost uh, that's one thing as you know for my like 60 hours of gameplay like I didn't really fully start playing the game and understanding the game until maybe like the last 20 hours of gameplay that I've had because I actually started focusing on the actual meat and potatoes of it. And that's when for me, it was like, oh, like it's more to this game than just, you know, uh, a, you know, a basically, you know, uh, a cyberpunk dystopian version of Grand Theft Auto. It's more than that. Referring it to that way is very barbaric because this game, you know, apples to oranges compared to like any Grand Theft Auto franchise. So that's not shitting on Grand Theft Auto. I just think that like there's just so much to impact. There's so much to the lore that, you know, I wasn't aware of that obviously you're well versed in that resonates and bleeds in, you know, as more you traverse through here. So. Liam Northam. Nah, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. Heard they exist. How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome. But the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. Some countries that were had big post-war tech booms versus a gradual increase in tech as we do here in the West. So South Korea, China, Japan, and again, I'll play on a global scale because of the way uh, these worked have inspired others after them. All of them become intertwined and it's easy to skip through the actual timeline of fiction and what can contribute everything. Goes to the show. I feel like Demolition Man would be a good Am I wrong for saying like Demolition Man is what you? I, I just feel like Demolition Man would be like fit in this universe too, at least the environment itself, like not the overall story. Like I just I just feel like there are key parts in Demolition Man, especially like when Stallone is interacting with the high society. That's not really him. No, I, who wrote Demolition Man? Please tell me who wrote Demolition Man. So what's don't, my role the, don't say the what same do guy. Want? Do not say the same guy. I'd be shocked if it's the same and guy. And things for good. Liam goes to riot all the time. I think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me. I'll probably kill him. Not so fast. The scratch. You'll get it. Sure hope so. Question is how much. God, how mundane. No idea. Scads and scads of scratch. You happy? Mm-hmm. You know, for us mere mortals, the mundane matters. Sometimes means the difference between life and death. Don't lecture me. You want the job or not? Can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go. It was an original script, but in Spark. It is bullshit. Brave New World. Now I have to wiki this. Get out of here. Bullshit. Bullshit.